Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing my review for October. Um, this was kind of a crazy month. And not necessarily like super crazy, like November is going to be crazy for me. Um, but there's just some stuff that didn't get accomplished. Um, first, I will bring you guys over to my DoorDash paychecks. These are backwards, but the first week and the last week, I didn't break $100. And that was a lot, had nothing to do with like how busy it was or anything. It was, um, I only went out like once or twice on this week, which was actually the last week of September. And then this past week, I actually only went out like twice. So, um, that has a big impact on it is I just didn't go out and work, if that makes sense. So that kind of hampers things a little bit. Um, I only had the one unbudgeted, but as you can see, I had a lot of like stuff out of sinking funds. And if you guys have been watching, I actually don't have any money in my sinking funds. Um, this $180 that I put in pretty much came out right away to help me cover other stuff. Um, but a big part of it is I took a ton of time off. So my paychecks weren't high and I didn't really plan that well when I bought my car because I bought my car at the end of September when I'd already had a bunch of days off and then October I had a bunch of days off. So now I'm in the catch up mode because I just wasn't, I didn't, I didn't plan very well, but let's kind of go into here. So all of these bills got paid. The ones that are highlighted in yellow did not. Um, I got a decline notification this morning about Amazon free time and then the Verizon, I did a promise to pay type thing on it. And then all of this stuff was taken care of. Um, I did not put any money into sinking funds. I didn't count the 180 because it's not there anymore. Um, I didn't do any planner stuff. So if I calculated right, my um, fixed expenses, variable expenses was $14.46 and my pay was $22.36, which leaves me $790. Most of that is sitting in my account waiting to pay for Declan's birthday party, which is, um, I'm filming this on November 1st, so his birthday party is tomorrow. Um, and then another chunk of that probably most likely went to um, sorry guys, um, a pretty good chunk of that, uh, went to drive throughs eating out, um, gas stations, like sodas and stuff and just like little stuff. And then, um, some of Declan's Halloween stuff that I didn't include, um, which is why if you watched my video yesterday for my check-in, I went through this a little bit with how I'm going to do check-ins in November is I didn't budget myself anything for eating out because I need to get a sense of how much I'm spending at gas stations, at drive throughs at restaurants and stuff like that. So there's nothing budgeted there. So everything on unbudgeted and eating out will be over budget. And I'm going to mark that with, um, it's like an orange orange highlighter color, this one, which I think they just call orange. Oh, vermilion. Okay. Um, so I'm going to use that one on this page to help me keep track. So, um, that will be that. And then as you can see, I've got a couple of sinking fun stuff. That's this, uh, like darker teal color is stuff that's coming out of my sinking funds. Um, and that's, um, Declan's birthday stuff is there, whatever is left in there. I'm going to put towards my, um, auto insurance, which comes out the ninth, which I didn't include on here right there. I need to put that in here so I don't forget. And that is this one. Yep, anything that is left over from his birthday party fund 
Um, sorry about that. Anything that's left over from his birthday party fund is um, going towards the auto insurance fund because that is the following week. Ugh, I didn't let that dry enough. Okay, I'm going to let that dry and then I will come back and write that in. Okay, but anyway, so it looks like, as in, as in terms of like what's left over, it looks like I did really well, but like I said, these two didn't get paid. Um, if like over here it looks well that I've got like a 40... Um, for my entire credit limit is about $4,500. Um, and one of those is including my credit card for Torrid. So without that, it's like 4,200, but I am almost at my max for that. Like not including the Torrid. This one is over limit. This has seven cents. This has like $4, $5, eight dollars left on its credit line so like I I definitely need to play some catch up and that really bugs me um but yeah if you just look at these numbers I did phenomenal but if you like dig into it I did terrible this month so we're gonna have like not necessarily a reset in November but kind of a reset and then also I did not, I did not complete the savings challenge or any, or the extra. Um, this was, which day did I buy his Halloween stuff? Like the 28th. Um, I would have, I believe, completed the no spend. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So... 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Um, nope. I was one day shy of 25 no spend days. But, you know, that's just kind of how it goes. I was one day shy. If I had bought his Halloween stuff on the 25th instead of the 28th, I could have counted that. But, you know, stuff happens, so... We are going to try to do better in November. And then also, if you notice, I put my key for the highlighters on the monthly view. So I will not have this to move. And I like having this, but I don't need it anymore. And I'm going to save it in case I go back to using stickers, even though I could change up the colors that I do. But I'm going to just pop this in my drawer. And yeah, so, and if you guys notice, these are the only stickers that I'm going to stop using for now. And I love having them. They're just bulky and I can only put three or four on a day and then it just gets a little crazy. And with this, I can, let me see, we're going to just like test this out. And I'm actually only going to use one color because... Um, I don't need to keep switching colors for no reason. All right, so if I do that and I leave a little gap. Yeah, okay, so I can fit one, two, three, four, five, six, six in a box. And then if I wanted to even make one a little shorter, I could fit seven, seven lines in a box. So, um, it just, it makes a lot more sense for me to do it this way because I put, um, because I know not everybody does this. Like some people just put like their sinking funds and their, um, unbudgeted any like little stuff that they pay but I put all of my bills in here and so I need a little bit more room but 
anyway, I'm, I'm veering off subject. Um, October did not end well, but moving into November, I have high hopes that I can at least get caught up. And then in December and on, I can start getting ahead again. So, um, that's kind of how, you know, get milk. okay, give me just a sec. And you know, it just, sometimes it happens. So we're going to just move on from here and, um, yeah, get back to where we were. Anyway, so I'm going to end that here and I will see you guys next time. Um, thanks for watching. Bye guys.